Hey everybody, welcome back to One Seed, One World. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about powdery mildew and what you can do to kind of help prevent it or at the very least get ahead of it. Uh, there's no real specific cure for it uh, without getting rid of your plants completely and starting over again, but there are ways that you can kind of control it and keep it from killing off your plants. So what is powdery mildew? Powdery mildew is a fungal infection that affects things like cucumbers, pumpkins, watermelons, squash. And in most cases, depending on where you live really and your environment, but it kind of shows up every year in some form or another or somewhere on some of your plants. Uh, powdery mildew, when you first see it, it kind of looks like, I don't know, like somebody threw some flour on your plants. It's a white kind of powdery looking thing that, that ends up on your leaves and over time will spread and can kill off your plant. Now, the one thing is, is it does spread very rapidly. So you want to get ahead of it before it kills off your plants. If you have plants that are really infected, your best bet is to just pull them out and start over. But if you only have a couple of leaves or a few leaves that are affected, then there is really kind of two things that you can do to kind of keep it from spreading too rapidly. Powdery mildew shows up if you've got a lot of rain, warm, humid, wet weather. That's what we've been having here. We've had a lot of days that have been in the 90s, um, very humid, and a lot of rain, multiple rains per week. In fact, I think I've got a thunderstorm rolling in right now, which is why I'm trying to get out here and get this video done before this happens. And I'm hoping it doesn't hit here because one of uh, the things that you want to do, you kind of need it to be sunny and maybe a little bit drier and because uh, once it rains, you, you have to start over again. So two things that you can do with your powdery mildew. First, trim off the leaves that are affected. I have a couple of leaves down here that are uh, affected. Actually, let me take that back. Don't do that first. First, spray your leaves. What do you spray them with? Easy mixture. Eight parts water to one part standard milk that you have in your refrigerator. So, you know, you can make up a batch of like four cups of water and half a cup of milk, mix it together, put it in a spray bottle, and then you want to spray all of your affected leaves. So I just got my spray bottle with my milk mixture here and I'm going to spray the leaves. You don't have to spray, uh, spray the blossoms, but you definitely want to get it like on, you know, maybe so on your lower stems and spray your leaves with it. Now, of course, if it does rain today, I'm going to have to do this over again because the rain will just wash away my mixture. And that's fine. I mean, what you'll need to do is probably once you've got powdery mildew in your garden, you're probably going to need to do this, mm, I don't know, maybe every three to four weeks as a preventative measure to keep it from spreading and getting out of hand. Okay, so why did I say to spray the leaves first before you remove any of them? If you've got leaves that are uh, more heavily affected, you can just pinch or cut those off. Like I've got one right here, and you can see how it's already got the white powdery mildew on there and even some of the edges are starting to yellow because this is gonna kill this off, right? But here's the thing. You might think, you know, oh, all this humid, wet weather, we got all this rain, I got this powdery mildew. Oh, now I've got a dry spell. That's great, it's gonna dry everything out and it will help get rid of the powdery mildew. The problem is, is that once you have the powdery mildew and the weather gets dry and a little bit breezy, now it's got all these fungal spores on there. A little bit of breeze, it's gonna, now they're dry, they're gonna float on the wind and go to other places of your garden and infect more plants. That's why uh, it spreads so rapidly. And that's why I recommend to spray them first because if you just pinch off all the dry leaves and then carry them somewhere else, you're inadvertently 
spreading the disease by accident. So uh, by spraying them and wetting them down some first with this milk mixture or water and milk mixture, uh, they're damp and are gonna be less likely to float away on the air. It's not a perfect um, remedy, but it will help reduce <clears throat> the potential for that spread. Secondly, don't put these in your compost, you know, get rid of them, burn them in your burn pile, uh, put them in your trash, send them to the dump, you know, <laughs> whatever. Just get them out of your garden and uh, you don't want to perpetuate the disease any further than you have to. Uh, so why I also said to spray the mixture on a sunny day is because what happens is the, there's a chemical process that happens with the sun's rays that interacts with the proteins in the, in the milk in, that you've now mixed with water that helps kill off the fungus. And so do it during a, a bright sunny day when you can. I may have picked a bad day. I didn't realize the storm was ro rolling in until I just started to film this and then all of a sudden thunder and it's getting all dark. So I'm hoping maybe it'll miss us and go that way and the sun will come back out, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's the way that you can get rid of powdery mildew. Some milk and water, spray your plants every couple months, or I'm sorry, about once a month, and that should help you to get rid of it. And then pinch off any of the leaves that are really badly affected. Uh, so I'm gonna get, the rid of the, get rid of the rest of these leaves, and hopefully this storm won't come rolling in. But thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me again today. I hope whatever's going on with uh, your gardens and, and in whatever's going on in your neck of the woods. I hope it's gone fantastic for you. If you have any questions or comments about powder, powdery mildew, feel free to put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But um, that's about it. Hope you're having a great day. Namaste, everybody.